In this lecture, we will understand how to solve the differential equations using the Laplace transform and we will understand this by the help of one question. In this question, a continuous time LTI system is described by the given differential equation and we are required to calculate the response yt or you can say the output yt of the LTI system when the input xt is equal to e power minus 2t multiplied to ut. So the question is not very difficult to understand. In the question, the LTI system is described using this differential equation and the input to the LTI system is also given and using these two informations we are required to calculate the output of the LTI system and we already know LTI system can be described or defined using the transfer function and the transfer function of an LTI system is usually represented by HS and apart from using the transfer function to define or describe an LTI system, we can also use the differential equation like we are using differential equation in our question. Now we will understand what is the process to obtain the output yt and after that we will move on to the detailed solution. We want output yt and we can have the output yt if we know its Laplace transform ys because if we know ys we can perform the inverse Laplace transform to obtain yt and we can have ys if we know the transfer function hs and the Laplace transform of input xt because when we multiply hs and xs this will give us ys because we know the transfer function hs is equal to the Laplace transform of the output which is ys divided by the Laplace transform of the input which is xs and while defining this we consider all the initial conditions to be zero. Now here if we know hs and xs we can multiply them to get ys and once we have ys we will perform the inverse Laplace transform to get yt. So we will focus on calculation of hs and calculation of xs. We can easily calculate xs because xt is given. The only thing we need to do is to obtain the Laplace transform of this time domain signal. It will give us xs and to obtain hs we will perform the Laplace transform on the given differential equation and this is our main concern. We are understanding how to solve the differential equations. So let's move towards the solution of the question. I will first write down the given differential equation. It is 2 times derivative of the output yt with respect to time t plus 4 times derivative of output yt plus 3 multiplied to the output yt and this is equal to 2 times derivative of input xt dxt over dt plus 4 times input xt. Now to obtain the Laplace transform of this differential equation we are going to use the differentiation in time property of Laplace transform. So let's quickly revise the differentiation in time property. If we have a time domain signal ft and this signal is having the Laplace transform equal to fs and we are talking about the bilateral Laplace transform. Now if you differentiate the time domain signal ft n times with respect to time t then the corresponding Laplace transform of this time domain signal will be s power n multiplied to fs. So we are going to use this property and let's say output yt 
is having the Laplace transform equal to Ys and the input Xt is having the Laplace transform equal to Xs. So let's move to our next step. We will first focus on this term, the two times derivative of yt with respect to t. Now compare this with this. You will find n is equal to 2. So this will have the Laplace transform equal to s power 2. You can see we are having s power n. So replacing n by 2 we will have s power 2 multiplied to the Laplace transform of the output yt which is ys. Similarly, we will have 4 multiplied to s multiplied to ys plus 3 multiplied to ys because here we are only having yt multiplied by 3. There is no derivative of yt so there is no need to use this result. We will directly write down 3ys and on the right hand side we will have 2 times s multiplied to xs. And as we are not having more space here, I will write down the Laplace transform of 4xt here. The Laplace transform of 4xt is equal to 4 multiplied to xs. So this is what we are having as the Laplace transform of the differential equation. And on the left hand side, I will take ys common. So we will have ys inside the bracket s square plus 4s plus 3 and on the right hand side I will take xs common. So we have xs inside the bracket 2s plus 4 and we are looking for the transfer function of the LTI system and the transfer function is equal to ys over xs. So what I will do I will divide both the sides by xs. This will give us ys over xs inside the bracket s square plus 4s plus 3 equal to xs over xs inside the bracket 2s plus 4. xs and xs will cancel out and uh, now we will divide both the sides by s square plus 4s plus 3 and this will give us ys over xs on the left hand side and in this way we will have transfer function hs it is equal to ys over xs and it is equal to 2s plus 4 in the numerator or I can write 2 inside the bracket s plus 2 I have simply taken 2 common from 2s and 4 in the denominator we will have s square plus 4s plus 3 or we can write this after factorizing which will give us s plus 1 multiplied to s plus 3 and in this way we have calculated our transfer function hs and half of the job is now done. We have calculated hs and now we will concentrate on calculation of xs. Xt which is the input signal is given in the question it is equal to e power minus 2t multiplied to ut and if we take the Laplace transform we will get xs equal to 1 over s plus 2 and we already know how to obtain the Laplace transform of e power minus 2t multiplied to ut I am not going to explain it again because we have already done this many times before. So we are getting xs equal to 1 over s plus 2 and in the next step we will multiply hs and xs. This will give us ys because ys is equal to hs multiplied to xs and after multiplying hs and xs we will have 2 over s plus 1 multiplied to s plus 3 because s plus 2 in numerator of hs will cancel out with s plus 2 in denominator of xs. Now we have ys it is equal to 2 over s plus 1 multiplied to s plus 3 and 
we will try to write down this Laplace transform as the combination of standard Laplace transforms using the partial fractions. So using the partial fraction we have a over s plus 1 plus b over s plus 3 and we can write this as a multiplied to s plus 3 plus b multiplied to s plus 1 divided by s plus 1 multiplied to s plus 3. Now compare this with this you will find 2 is equal to a s plus 3 plus b s plus 1. So in the next step we will write a s plus 3 plus b s plus 1 is equal to 2. This is what we are getting after the comparison. Now we will put s equal to minus 1. We will put s equal to minus 1. This will give us a inside the bracket minus 1 plus 3 plus b multiplied to 0 is equal to 2. So from here we are getting a is equal to 1. a is equal to 1. After this we will put s equal to minus 3. This will give us a multiplied to 0 plus b multiplied to minus 3 plus 1 equal to 2 and from here we are getting b is equal to minus 1. So we have calculated a and b. So we will write our Laplace transform y s equal to 1 divided by s plus 1 minus 1 divided by s plus 3 and we are writing this after replacing a by 1 and b by minus 1 and we know 1 over s plus 1 is the Laplace transform of the time domain signal e power minus t multiplied to ut you can relate with this minus 1 over s plus 3 is the Laplace transform of e power minus 3t multiplied to ut and the corresponding time domain signal of ys is equal to yt and we are getting this after performing the inverse Laplace transform of ys and now we have our answer in the question 1LTI system was given and it was defined using the differential equation which is this one and the input to the LTI system was xt equal to this and we were required to calculate the output yt which we have now calculated. So this is all for this lecture. If you have any doubt you may ask in the comment section.